Hi, I'm Wes Nihei. I'm a Sansei born and raised in San Francisco. I'm the membership coordinator of Nishi Bay Weekly. In my role as membership coordinator, I'm familiar with all the members in the organization, so that gives me a good idea of the broad reach of the Nishi Bay Weekly across the country. Combined with our editorial content, I get to see just how much activity is going on in our community. It really drives home to me how important it is for us to preserve our sacred spaces. Niomachi, San Francisco, San Jose, Japantown, Little Tokyo and LA, and other places that are connected to our culture and our historical legacy. I'm really inspired by the work that the younger generations are doing to move our cause forward, to keep our organizations moving, pointed in the right direction, come with new ideas, new concepts, uh, addressing the current issues of the times. Hi, um, my name is Edith Moriguchi Horner. I'm outside the Nietzsche Bay Foundation in their parking lot. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco, and San Francisco is where I was born and raised. And I'm the um, Chief Financial Officer for the Nietzsche Bay Foundation. Our family grew up reading the um, Nietzsche Bay Weekly. We felt that the Japanese American community always needed a newspaper to keep the locals informed and to keep the community informed about the other Japanese communities. But the Nietzsche Bay Foundation is more than a newspaper. We sponsor film festivals, we organize field trips to historic sites, and we organize cheerleaders for the King's base basketball game and A's baseball game. So support Nietzsche Bay Foundation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kelly Okoy. I'm from Lafayette, California, and I work on special projects and marketing. Since working with Nietzsche Bay, I have learned a lot about the various organizations in the JA community. I love the fact that even though each organization is different, everyone comes together to preserve our history and ensure our community thrives for generations to come. Change is inevitable, and I believe the young leaders that I see in the community will carry it on to prosper in the future. Hi, my name is Greg Valoria, born and raised in San Francisco and video producer for the Nichi Bay Weekly. As I come to support the Japantown community with various volunteer activities, I've noticed that the Nichi Bay was always a part of each one of those activities in some ways, whether it was from reporting about the event to actually being part of the event and taking an active role in uh, making the event. Uh, I was so impressed by the staff's dedication to documenting stories about the community, especially here in SF Japantown. One of the things that really struck me in, in, in preserving these, these stories is uh, my involvement with the 75th anniversary of uh, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, it was during the pandemic, and I just thought that this was a very special thing to do. And it was, it just, it just struck me that these hibaksha have stories to tell and, and deep, meaningful stories that will teach all of us these stories of war and use of nuclear weapons that should not be used on this earth. My name is Jill Shiraki. I'm a sansei originally from Los Angeles and reside in El Cerrito, California. I help Nichi Bay with educational programming. Through Nichi Bay, we connect with community through stories of our past. We experience the places and memories of those that hold our history. We hear from writers, artists, and activists who give voice to our Japanese American experiences. And we join together to remember, honor, and carry our stories forward. My name is Derek Tahara from Sunnyvale, California, and I'm a staff writer for the Nietzsche Bay Weekly. The story that has stayed with me the most over time has been the Apollo Ono story, who told me that resilience and adapting is so important in life. And right now, it couldn't be even more vital. Hello, my name is Ryan Yamamoto, and I'm from Santa Monica, California. I am a third generation Japanese American, and I have been the office manager and programs associate for the Nietzsche Bay Foundation for almost two years now. I've had no, always nothing but uh, love and respect for the Japanese American community here in San Francisco. But uh, after working here for almost two years, I have become very surprised and inspired by how tight-knit and unified the community is and becomes when focused on a single goal. Uh, even walking through Japantown and the Buchanan Mall, you see people complying with CDC guidelines, wearing masks and social dis distancing. And that's very important for uh, this kind of community to have because it shows that we all strive towards a single goal. 
And not just in terms of uh, COVID-19, but when the Nichibe Foundation holds events such as the Wakamatsu Pilgrimage, Films of Remembrance, Soyan Tofu Festival, you name it, there, there always comes this huge swell of support from the community. And I think that's very needed in the atmosphere right now. It's almost as if the Japanese community in San Francisco is one single organism, and I'm very grateful to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Kota Morikawa. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. Working as an advertising manager, I have met many community members, including mama and pop business people, and I learned from their history and effort for of Nikkei legacy of survival, gaman, and contribution to the U.S. society. They are my inspiration to work harder selflessly for the community. I support Nichibe because it fosters the Nikkei legacy since the Nikkei immigration in 1860s from internment experience and rebuilding the community after the war. My name is Tomo Hirai and I was born and raised in San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a reporter and production manager at the Nichibe Bay Weekly. And as a Shin Nisei, my own parents have relied on me throughout my life to convey information clearly and in language. I know having English as a second language creates a gulf between people, even among the community that we call the Japanese American diaspora. In my reporting, I recognize that I must approach my sources in a way they feel comfortable with sharing their stories. Being culturally sensitive to the needs of others helps bring out the nuances of a story otherwise missed in mainstream reporting. My name is Heather Horiyuchi. I'm from Honolulu, and I'm the Nichibei Weekly's managing editor. As a news organization, the Nichibei covers a dispersed community while contextualizing its past. As an event organizer, it enables people to claim or reclaim their collective history. I hope the Nichibei's legacy will be that it covered the community with integrity. Hi, my name is Kenji Taguma. I am the editor-in-chief of the Nichibei Weekly and the president of the Nichibei Foundation. I grew up in the countryside of West Sacramento, the son of a farmer who farmed tomatoes for more than 45 years for Campbell's Soup, and a mother from Nagano Prefecture, Japan, who came as an immigrant in the late 1950s. To me, legacy weighs heavily on everything that we do here. For one, we are upholding a 122-year legacy now of community leadership through media as founded by legendary publisher Kyutaro Abiko and then his wife Yona Abiko starting from 1899 and after the war with the relaunch of the Nichibei Times as a corporation led by Shishinosuke Asano and the son of the Abiko family, Yasuo Abiko.